Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play RPG Merchant Tycoon. It's an underrated gem that not too many people know about, at least as far as I can tell. Um, it made my uh, DGA Awards as an honorable mention, so it's a pretty fun game. If you haven't played RPG Merchant Tycoon, go check it out. Um, I have a review out there on my official website, I have a tutorial video on my YouTube channel, etc, etc. But anyway, for those of you that haven't heard of this before, you take on the role of a shopkeeper and you're trying to satisfy customers or heroes as they come to your shop and demand certain things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the game. Okay, so here we are. A few things to note before we get started. I do not have a dedicated video camera, so the lighting and the coloring may be off at times. Secondly, we play to have fun. We try to get the rules right, but uh, on occasion we miss some stuff. Not too worried about it. This is just a fun game. I've already gone and set everything up for us just to save on time. This is my display. This is his display. We've got our customers here, or our client deck over here, and our handy daily reference cards. So with that said, let's go ahead and let you go first. You get to take two actions on your turn. Again, you can search and uh, draw a card from the uh, loot deck over here. You can combine everything together in, as your inventory and then rearrange stuff as you want to. Again, you're limited to five cards here and five cards in your hand, which is called the stock. Uh, you can fulfill an order if you have enough cards to do so, and you can trade. So what are you going to do? What is that? Trade. You're going to trade. You're going to uh, trade me this three yes. for that two. So you're... Okay, so that's fine. I actually got a little bit more out of the deal, but you probably need that accessory. Now, you can't put that in your hand right now. It stays in your display. Now, however, if you want to put that into your hand, you can use the inventory action to mix your cards around. You can put some cards here, some cards here. Again, you have to remember five cards here, five cards here right. in your hand. I guess I will You're going to rearrange. So that's your second action for the turn. So go ahead and rearrange whatever you want. And you'll probably set yourself up for next turn. So you're fine with just, you're just going to do those two things? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so I'll take a look at my card, see if I can fulfill anything. Um, I'm trying to fulfill some orders here. Um, let's see, I have a green card here. I know the camera's sort of out of focus, close up. Healing to, I don't have any armor though. I could use this. This is a wild card. Um, and I have a four magic, I do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fulfill a client's order. I've got magic, healing, and a wild. And the wild is going to satisfy this armor piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this client. You draw two loot cards. All other players draw one. So I'm going to go ahead and put these cards in the discard pile over there. Off camera, I know you guys can't see it. Um, so I get to draw two loot cards as a result. You, you get one. Now, whenever you have more in your hand than you're supposed to, you're supposed to discard one. So go ahead and discard one of, the, one of those cards. Or you can substitute it in your... You can substitute it here if you want to. If you want to, you know, put the card that you just drew here. This one. That one? Okay, so you're going to get rid of the four healing? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wrong one. There we go. Okay, now I get one more action. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, let's see. One more action. What am I going to do? I guess I'll go ahead and... Well, let's take a look if we can fulfill anything. That would be cool if we could. We've got some wild cards here. They're high value, though. I want to try and save those for the higher end cards if I can help it. Well, yeah, six you need armor. six armor for that one. That's, that's going to be tough. Um, this guy over here, though, only needs one weapon, one healing, and one accessory. I've got all high cards here, so... I mean, I guess I could use them. I guess. Or I could rearrange stuff if I need to. Um, hmm. It's going to be a tough call. I think what I'll do is... Um, I think I'll go ahead and draw one. I'll search the loot deck, and I'll just keep it in my stock here, because I have only four cards, now I have five, so I don't have to discard anything. Okay, so, it is now your turn. I will. Complete. You're going to complete an order? Alright, so that's your first action. So, which one are you completing now? Oh, I get a gold from, at the end of my turn, I am due one gold for completing this card. So, I'm going to put one gold. this one. So what is that one? You completed 
So 322, two, you've got 322 two here. Very good. So you completed that guy there. So we'll put it over here so the camera can see it. And, and one extra action. now you get to take one extra action for this turn. So you get two more actions for this particular turn. And don't forget, you get two gold. I'll just give it to you now. But keep in mind that you cannot spend these um, because technically you're not supposed to receive these until the end of your turn. I will. You're going to fish for the loot deck. Yes. Okay. I'll That's one. Sure. And you get one more. One more action. Mm -hmm. Are you fished again? Yeah. Okay, so that ends your turn. Okay, I moved the camera over slightly, um, just so you can see more of the left side of the table. I'm just going to try and be careful not to get in the way because I'm right-handed. Um, okay, so I get to go now. And what do I want to do? I've got all of these wild cards in my hand. I, I could probably do something. Um, this is a four. This is a four. That's a two. Five armor there. Um, I could do... She needs four and... I need a five accessory, damn it. Um, well, it's going to be tough. If I do five for the armor there, and then four and... Two for the ex no four and two for the accessory, and then I need four magic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, there's a four accessory here and a two wild. So I'm gonna treat this wild as an accessory. So it's six accessory, and so that satisfies that. And then I need four magic, which I'm gonna spend one of these wilds. And finally, I need uh, three armor. I've got a five armor card here. So that basically allows me to take that one. You're, you gain plus one shop space as long as you have this client. So I'm going to put that to the side here. Basically shop space meaning I can put an extra card here if I want to. You took mine. Did I? I'm going to go ahead and draw a new client from the deck. And uh, let's see. I get an extra. I mean I get one more action for this turn. Um, what am I going to do? I've got this card here. I, I really can't do much with that. I guess I'll go ahead and, um, hmm. I guess I, I could start picking these cards. I could rearrange my inventory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and rearrange. I'm going to keep some of these cards in my hand. And I'm going to put down, let's see, that guy needs that. And... Okay, wow. I'm going to put down that one. And I think, I think that ought to do it. Okay, now before I forget, I get three gold for completing that order. Alright, so now you get to go. I've done my two actions. I'm going to reorder these. You're going to rearrange, okay. Do the inventory action. So go ahead and pick stuff up and put stuff down. Remember, you've got a hand limit of five and a, uh, are you just going to put that down? Yes. Anything else you're going to rearrange? That's it? I will use, can you? So that's a gold action now. That means you have to spend gold in order to, uh, actually I'm looking at all these gold actions and you need uh, three gold for the one, five gold for the other one, and you can buy an item uh, for the exact, so you could buy that magic card that I have out if you want to. Uh, with those two gold. But again, the gold counts at the end of the game for dominance points. So it's up to you. You can take the risk, spend your gold, get some extra stuff now, or you can hold on to it and uh, get some dominance points later. It's up to you. I can't buy any items. Okay, well, if you can't, then you might want to. Um, how many cards do you have in your hand? Four. Okay, so you've got. Do you have any weapons? Yes. Do you have any accessories? Yes. Okay, do you have any healing? No. So why, whenever you did your inventory, you should have put one of these in your hand so that you can get all three, and then you can trade that in and get this card. I was just saying to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you picked up? Yeah. How many cards do you have in your hand now? Five. You have five in your hand now? Yes. Do you have six? You have five. Okay, so you're, if you have six, then you have to discard one. If you have five, then you're okay. Okay, so that's it for your turn then. 
All right, so question is, what am I going to do with my turn now? I've got uh, weapon, magic, accessory, healing, a bunch of different things here. I think what I'll do is I'll do one accessory, two weapon, three healing. I only need one, one, and one of each, so that satisfies that card. I'm going to go ahead and just take that. There's no um, special ability for getting that client. I'm going to go ahead and take my one gold now. I'm not going to spend it, mind you. Um, again, that comes at the end of the turn to prevent you from spending it that same turn. Go ahead and flip this card over. And I get one more action. Um, I've got three magic and four wild. I probably shouldn't be saying that out loud, but for the benefit of you folks at home uh, that uh, have a hard time reading with this, uh, you know, this camera isn't exactly in focus. Alright, so, um, I don't think I have enough to really do any. I'll go ahead and loot from the deck. Okay. Alright, so it is now your turn. I will rearrange. You're going to rearrange, okay. For taking these two. So you're going to put down these two. Which allows me to okay. complete one. Okay. So that's one inventory, that's one action. Holy cow, what did you just put down? You put down all your cards. Alright, so. Three for this. Three for the healing. Three okay. for the magic. Three for the magic. Four for the weapon. Four for the weapon. Five for the armor. Okay. Nice. That's exactly what you need. Okay. So you used all five cards. You got that. Now, um, I'm going to give you your gold now so I don't forget about it. But again, you can't use this gold until uh, your next turn. Four. So you get four points for that. Now, what is the special ability? It says income three plus three if you only... Fulfilled with only four items. Okay, well, you used more than four items, or yeah, you used more than four cards, so you do not get an extra three but income I don't for have that. Any cards left, so That's okay. Uh, well, you 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 went ahead and in, did an inventory, then you fulfilled an order, so that takes care of your turn. But on a future turn, you can again you can draw from this deck, and I have a feeling that's what I'm going to do because I I don't have a lot of cards either. Four, yeah. four, 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 four. Yeah, that's a lot. I know. What um, does that card say? What is take it? Take another turn, unless this is the. Last client fulfilled. Yeah. <laughs> you get to take it out this is a tier five. You get five gold from that. That's pretty powerful. I give you four gold. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and draw one. And I think I'll go ahead and draw another one. Okay. So it is now your turn. I'm going to put your chips here so the camera can see it. I know you like playing with the chips, but. Let's see. So you move them back out of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, do not move the chips. Well, I didn't say that. I said... Uh, Never mind what I said. Okay, you've got two turns again. I will search one of these. Okay, so you're going to search the deck. That. Or draw a loot card, rather. Oops, kind of. Okay, and you get one more action. Hmm. Thinking, uh... I guess I could rearrange. You're going to rearrange? Yes, yes. Okay. I will... That, I will take that. I will take that. Okay. And that's it. So you're, remember, you have to have five cards in your hand. If you have more, then you have to discard. I have to take that. So, okay, so how many cards do you have in your hand now? Four. Four, okay. So does that mean you're done? Did you take two actions or just the one? I can't remember. You drew, didn't you? Yeah, I drew the okay. one in. Alright, so it's my turn now. I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. I'm not going to put it in my hand. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw another card and put it here. Okay, so that's that takes care of my turn. You get to go now. Again, I have five cards. I don't want to really discard anything. Let's see. I will do this. Okay. I can for this, yes. Oh, well, yeah, okay, if that's what you want. So you get my magic and I get your healing. Okay. Then... Which works out, actually. That's fine with me. Then I will rearrange do that. So you're going to reorganize there? And how much you need? For your gold actions? Yeah. I will take one from this and... Okay, so you have to spend five gold to do that. You get to, it's a dumpster dive. You can uh, spend five gold to look through the discard pile and take any card out of the loot discard pile. It's a lot of gold. You know. It'll take that. 
Okay. Is this your stash here? Or did you already? Yeah, I only okay. have one left. Oh, you only have one left. Okay. Yes. All right. So that conclude. Oh, that that doesn't cost an action. Did you take two actions besides the dumpster dive? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Okay. I sold people. Forget. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um. Goodness. Oh, I've got. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize a bit. That's going to be my first action. I'm going to reorganize. I'm going to put, um, I need these. Actually, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the five there. I'm going to put this in my hand and put this in my hand. That means I need to get rid of two cards. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put, um, this down. And then for my second action, I'm going to go ahead and trade, or I'm going to fulfill an order. Three accessory, two healing and three magic and I've got three two three okay so two 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 and I've got three two three so I'm gonna go ahead and take that fulfill that order look at the top four cards of the loot deck and put them back in any order this is the last client okay so let's go into this card pile and I get to draw the top four cards of the loot deck and put them back in any order so basically I can so I'm going to go ahead and put this one on top like that. And I think that's... I'm going to do that. Do I need a weapon or accessory? Um, you know, that's fine. I think I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these back like so. And I get uh, two gold for that. Right, my turn. Okay, your turn. These are for armor and the uh, okay, so weapon. Okay, so armor and weapon. Okay. Four for healing. Four for the healing. You need four magic and four accessory now. These. Six accessory. Wow, you just basically spent all of your cards. Look at you. Okay, but you get that. That's worth five. And it says take another turn unless it's the last character. Okay, that's good. So you get and two. And I get five gold too. You get five gold, but you don't get to spend this until um, after your turn is over. Yeah, no. But I'm just gonna put that right there I for now. Will take. So, you, so you get two, you get three actions. No, you get two actions because you filled, fulfilled a client's order. That's one action. But this card gave you another action, so you get two actions. Three. Two, because you used one to fulfill an order. Yeah, but I have. This takes another turn. No. Okay. You you started with two, right? You started with two. You fulfilled a client's order that brought you down to one. Right? Plus another turn. Plus, so two. So you get two, at, like I said, two actions. Okay, your turn. So you fulfilled that order. You get two more turns because of that bonus. And I picked up those two. So you picked up those two, so that's it. Okay, so my turn now. I will go ahead and um, I'll just draw two cards. I know what they are because I rearranged the top four the last turn. So I'm good there. And now it is your turn again. Alright, so what do you do now? Did I you just take, you pick up two cards? Okay, so now I get to go. Um, and I've got these here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up one card from my hand. Question is, do I need it? Um, yeah, I will keep that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw another card. And put that in my display there. Alright, so it's now your turn again. I will put that down. So you're going to... What do you mean put it down? That means you have to use an inventory to rearrange. Is that what you're going to do? Mm. How many cards do you have in your hand? Four? Yeah. Alright, so you could draw a card and you could either put it here or you can put it um, in your hand. Or you can fulfill orders. I will do the... I will use Dunster Die. What is your obsession with Dumpster Dive? It helps you a lot. Well, remember, that gold is for the end of the game in case, you know, yeah. to get dominance points. Okay, so you did your dumpster dive action. That's a free action. Um, so I have one action 
action left. Okay. Which allows me to complete one. Okay, so you're going to complete one? Seven for the fire. Okay, for seven the for the weapon. Five for the uh, accessory. Five and for the accessory. Four for the armor. Okay, so you get that card. What does the special ability on it say? You gain one shop space as long as you have this client. Oh, okay. One shop space. Good for you. Now you get how many gold for that? Four. Four. So you spent four gold to, or five gold to get four gold. Okay. But that's actually good because you do get points for having clients at the end of the game too. All right. So you've got, again, two clients left here. Um, let's see. What is this one? All right. You don't need that one. You need, all you need the one showing is the one that has, okay, shop space, okay. All right, my turn. Um, I will go ahead and, uh, let's see, I need one weapon, six armor. I don't think I have that. Um, I have this and this, and actually, actually, I'll use this for the healing. Uh, I need four for the armor, and I have a five weapon. So basically that fulfills this guy here. There's no special ability down here, but I do get five gold. I just destroyed the discard pile. All right, there we go. So I get five gold. Again, I can't use this gold until my next turn, but if I don't collect it now, I'll forget about it, and then I won't have any. All right, so I get one more action. I will go ahead and um, I think I'll go ahead and draw exactly what I needed, actually. Okay, it is now your turn. I am in. So what are you going to do now? Hmm. I will draw one. You're going to draw one card? Now remember, because the game is almost over, you get points for um, having items in your display here. So you want to think about getting some cards and uh, rearranging your inventory and putting some cards out on display so that you get some points at the game's end. Okay, so you drew and picked... Okay, so did you get another turn? How many turns did you take? I can't remember. Well, then, do you have to arrange? No, you don't have to. When you pick up from here, you can either put it in your hand, uh, or you can put it... I'll put it there. Okay, is that what you just picked up? Yeah. Okay, so you get another action, right? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and pick up, or do whatever you need to do. Whatever second action you want to take. I would get as many cards as you can. Get them out on this display. Because if I happen to get this, you're going to want some numbers here. All right. Um, I don't think I have enough, though, to actually do it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two cards. One and two. Actually, yeah. Okay. All right, you get to go now. I will take one. You're going to take one card. Are you going to keep that in your hand, or are you going to put it down, or what are you going to do? You check in to see if you can fulfill that order. That uh, the Amazon sisters need one weapon, six armor, one magic, and two accessory. Um, mm. You only have one action left, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can't do an inventory and then fulfill it. You have to ha either fulfill it with the cards in your hand or draw again. Or some other action. Again, you can also trade. Assuming there's anything in my pile that you like. Actually, I do. What are you, you going to give me? Or what, You want the armor? No, the wild. The, you want the one wild? Yeah. Okay. There you go. There. You could have given me that. Yeah. Did you want to give me that instead? It's a one healing for one wild. It's a better yeah, deal yeah. for you. Because at the end of the game, remember, these points, or these numbers yeah. add up. So that's, you know, trying to help you out there. Okay, um, so that's two actions there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can fulfill this order. I'm hesitant to use my high numbers, though, because I want to keep them out here. I think what I'll do is I'll draw one card, and I'll put that here. And, oh, uh, goodness. I think I'll rearrange stuff. I'm going to go ahead and rearrange. Again, I want to put these high numbers out here without... Uh, I don't need any healing. Um, I need armor. I need that accessory. I need magic. I'm going to put this one down. And I need a weapon, but I don't have any. Down there. 
going to put two healing there. Okay, so that concludes my turn. Uh, let's see. First I will rearrange. I do have plus one shop space, so I could put another card on if I wanted to. I can't remember if shop space is display or stock, because it doesn't say... While you're doing that, I'm going to look at the rule book. It's been a while since I looked at this thing. Shop space is the term used to represent maximum number of both stock and display cards a player can have out at a time. So, okay, so basically I can have one extra here or one extra here. Okay. I rearrange... But I will use my five Really? Yep. Why are you spending all your gold for? So. So you can dumpster dive a third time. You need a shower badly. Like, it's <laughs> constantly Daddy? dumpster diving. That's only. I have one action left. Okay. So, yeah, sorry about that. I, we get telemarketers all the time. It's so annoying. Anyway, go ahead. Um, this is your second action. This is for that. Okay, so you get one weapon, one wild for the magic. I got four accessories. Four accessories, so you just need six armor now. Alright, so you got it. Um, you may take two gold from another player's... Oh, well, there you go. You can take some of my gold. There you go. Two gold. And you also get three gold, right? Yeah. For, for completing that order. And that is the last, last client there. So we're going to go ahead and tally up our scores. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how much dominance we each have. Uh, I guess we'll start with you. Um, to do that, one point for every client you fulfilled. So count up how many clients you have. One, two, three, four, five. So you get five dominance points for that. Uh, one point for every three gold that you have. You have I have five. Five. Okay, so you know what? I'll, I'll be generous. You're supposed to do the lowest, like, technically you get one point for that, but I'll be nice, I'll give you two. Because you're closer to six, but it's not supposed to work that way. Again, we don't always play by the rules, get over it. Um, so two, uh, plus the, how many cards there? That's five. Five, five clients? Yes. So that's seven. And uh, one point for every three item quotes, so that's eight. So you get eight points, eight dominance total is what you get. All right, so my turn, um, I get one point for every client. I have one, two, three, four, five clients. That's five points. I've got 10, 15, 18, 20, divided by um, three is uh, a lot of math. <laughs> uh, nine is, uh, no, eight, seven is 26. It's six. So six plus the five is 11. Plus one point for every three coin. Yeah, I, I, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got three points there on top of that. So it looks like I beat you this game, but it was a very close one. So good job. Come yeah, if you, if you wouldn't dumpster dive so much. I would, been, yeah, I would have probably won because I had like ten. You would have had more coins. Like five plus five plus five. Mm -hmm. Good game, though. And there you have it. Another quick game for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, this is RPG Merchant Tycoon. I believe it's available on the Game Crafter. So with that said, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.